Hi Dresser Goodies, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw a mountain landscape, so let's get started. To draw this beautiful scenery, just give yourself a um, rectangular border to start. And then once you have that in, let's go ahead and start on this corner and we're going to be drawing the, um, what is most in the foreground. So it's just going to be a clump of flowers right here. So to start that, I'm just going to come right here and just randomly just draw some tall grasses. So I just want to fill up this corner. If you don't like to draw flowers or grasses, you can just put a big bush here if you like. This is just to inspire you cuties and I really hope it does. So just going to come here, some shorter, some longer, really doesn't matter. We just want to fill up this area like I said. So then now that I have this in, I'm just going to come in here and just very quickly just draw some flowers all kinds of flowers, it really doesn't matter. Just want to fill up this space. So, uh, all kinds of flowers, whatever you can think of. So sometimes make me make them bigger. Make them smaller. And I'm just going to add some uh, stems to them. Okay, so then now that I've kind of filled in this space right here, I'm going to start with the different levels of our landscape. So let's start right here in this corner and I'm just going to draw a big curve right here. So we're just going to go deeper and deeper into the background and maybe one that starts about right here. We're going to break up the space, the slopes down, comes into our flowers. So whatever space, so that's why sometimes you just block it and then you don't have to draw too much. <laughs> there, see now I'm cheating by doing this. I don't have to worry about that line. And so on this part right here, I can just add more grass. So whatever space there. So then we have this slope. Then let's come over here perhaps and change it up and come on this side and create another slope that comes down, runs into that. One more. Going up. As you see, we're just creating, going back and forth. And so that is pretty much it for my um, bottom levels. I'm gonna, now I'm going to draw the mountain. So I'm going to come about right here, the main one. And I'll go up nice and high because this is my main mountain. I'm about right there, I'll stop and bring it down. And I could draw another one here, smaller one. And maybe, uh, we'll see, maybe we'll add another one. We'll see, because I want to put a house right there. So now that we have that in, let's come back to this mountain and give it some um, dimension. So I'm going to come right here in the center and just draw this wobble downwards. So then now our mountain has some volume. So same thing over here. So one side. 
and then from there let's draw this road that I'm putting in here so about right here I'm just going to come about right here and just draw a curve and just kind of taper it in and so it's definitely smaller right here as it comes closer to you it's going to be bigger so right here a bit smaller oh but before I do that I want to add some bushes right here so I'm just going to put this in the foreground and this on this plane so just very simply just draw a bunch of curves maybe some blueberry bushes or whatever <laughs> and then now we can go ahead and finish our road so to follow the curve and it's going to get wider as we come towards here and then on the back let's continue this road imagine it's coming through so it's popping out so right here and small over there and then getting wider as it comes out so now hopefully that looks like it's this road that's leading to the mountains just a little bit thinner there now that we have a road in let's put a little house right here so I'm just gonna put one right here I'm just gonna draw two angles Two straight lines and just go ahead and draw a very simple house for our roof straight line down and across and let's put a door in here perhaps some windows maybe a little chimney right <laughs> just like my other house we can put some smoke coming out and we can put some trees perhaps and so this is really far away so just draw shapes it really doesn't matter some bushes however you want to decorate it so we have our house in and now um, let's come back in here and we're going to add another peak I think it looks like we need one so I'll put in another smaller mountain right here towards the back and once again same thing a little curve going that way and so um, let's see we can add like maybe a little pond over here so I'll come about right here just draw this shape comes through right there you may put in a rock there's a ripple right there and let's see so for some more details let's add some trees right so let's say about right here we could start drawing those big Pine trees, just zigzag to this cone shape. Then you can draw some smaller ones here, way in the back. So I really hope this inspires you. I can't wait to see what you come up with and of course I'm not going to be adding any um, animals or anything to this so definitely um, add some here maybe on the pasture right here you can add some of my trusted cute animals and add some berries right here you can add some grass since we're way in the foreground So you can add some what else can we add maybe some more trees over here and let's see so then now for the back we can even add some 
I, I think I kind of like to keep it plain too, right? There's some beauty to it being a little bit um, sparse. So let's come back um, to the back right here and we can draw some clouds. So if you don't want this harsh line, just use a blue marker when you're doing this. Just add some clouds in the back. Different level. Um, I'm gonna draw this big sun right here, so big circle and some birds of course <laughs> so just two little curves connected and just flick it out so they're all done i really hope you enjoyed following along with me to draw this beautiful mountain landscape and that i made it fun and easy for you to follow along Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.